Hey, welcome, Mr. Bigots here. Uh, what I want to do is let you know that I do not have my mustache anymore. I got rid of it. I hope you like it. I do too. So, what I'm going to do is show you today is how to read some graphs. And what I want to do about reading graphs is a couple things we need to understand. When we're reading graphs, first thing we always want to do is read the title of the graph. What are we trying to learn about this graph? So the first one is the hours kids play, the hours that kids play video games. And this one is military training. Uh, I think this actually was wrong. Hours, hours played, hours played with video games. And this one was military training. So now we know at least what to expect from a graph. Now we need to understand how to read it. Well, there's two things we need to understand. First of all, on a graph, we have two axes. We have the x-axis and we have the y-axis. And you'll learn about that a little bit later. But what I want you to do is understand that each one of these axes represents a different part of information. So let's take a look at um, the hours played. On, the, on the, our x-axis here, we have our males and our females. So that's the information provided on the x-axis is a male and a female's part of data. On the y-axis, you can see we're labeled in going in terms of ones, one, two, three, that's our units. And what you can see is that's the hours played of video games per week. So by me reading this graph, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the male side and I'll see males. Well, that goes all the way up to nine. Well, what does nine represent? Nine represents the hours played per week. Per week. Therefore, I can determine by reading this graph that males play nine, nine hours of video games per week. Then I'll move over to the female side. And what I can read for the females is that females roughly play about five video games per week. So that's by me reading the graph, I take a look at both of the axes and I determine, you know, what do they both represent? And then when I bring them together to get an understanding of the graph. Uh, one thing we do notice is that it is declining between male and females. Males do play more video games than females. Um, next one is called military training. So I'm going to look at the x-axis again first. And what I notice is this is the number of push-ups. So we have people that are competing doing push-ups. And this is their number of push-ups they completed. Then you can look up here. And it says that roughly the people, the y-axis represents the number of sit-ups. So you can do push-ups and they do sit-ups. Now let's look at the relationship between the two. So if you completed five push-ups, the average person looks like competed made 40 sit-ups. However, a person that did 10 push-ups only did 30 push-ups. But then it climbs back up. 15 push-ups goes up to 40 sit-ups. And 20 push-ups goes up to, uh, looks like around 70 sit-ups. So what we can kind of determine, even though there's kind of this little spike, we can kind of determine that generally as the more and more push-ups someone is able to do, the more and more sit-ups that they're able to do. So that's the general point in reading graphs. Just remember to read the title, determine what the, uh, the representation of the data, you know, read the x-axis, read the y-axis, and then try to find a relationship between the two so you can understand the graph. All right, guys. Good job.